I know for some people it's really, really hard to actually get wrapped around their heads, but that is the truth. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Uh, right now, I'm not doing good. I'm actually kind of ticked. Um, I'm still having the thought from yesterday about how one day I'm going to get over my anxiety completely and it's going to be gone forever. That's not how that works. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know how anxiety works or how mental illness works in general, let me give you the rundown. It's chemical imbalances in your brain. The chemicals in here are screwed up some way, somehow. I think in the case of anxiety, it's too low of serotonin, if I remember right. So, of course, you can have meds to help fix that, but the imbalance of chemicals is still going to be there. And especially if there's been a genetic predisposition for it, it's still going to be there. You can learn how to handle it better. You can learn better coping skills. It's still going to be there. So surprise. You can't get over anxiety completely because it's going to forever be there. You can't really change what genetics gives you. Which I know for some people is really, really hard to actually get wrapped around their heads. But that is the truth. And it just bothers me so much that there's people who think this way. Because it's like, all you're doing for those of us with anxiety is, one, making our anxiety much worse. Because we already feel like a lot of times that our anxiety isn't real or that we're being exaggerating, even though that's the opposite. And you're also basically telling us that it basically is saying that our mental illnesses don't matter. That, you know, oh, it's just anxiety. You can just get over it. No, we can't. And the fact that you are saying that sounds a lot like, oh, I don't really care. Like, okay, you say that you have a bunch of worries about things. Well, that's too inconvenient for me. It sounds more like, I just want the person back before the anxiety. Or my favorite one that you are obsessed with your anxiety. Oh, I love that one. No, you are not obsessed with anxiety. It's part of your life. As much as a lot of people do not want to believe it. And that is just irritating me to no extent. Because it's not just for me. It's for all of us out there with anxiety that people are basically downplaying our mental illness and saying that it's, oh, nowhere near as bad as it could be. So, yeah, that's what's been on my mind, and it's really just irritated me. But, of course, what can I do? All I could do is just pretend, just put on a fake smile and be like, oh, okay, yeah, my anxiety will one day go away forever. <laughs> no. Since when were you a mental health professional? That is also my thought. Because, you know, at least my psychiatrist knows the truth. At least most of my friends who have mental illnesses also know the truth. Science is a thing, ladies and gentlemen. But enough of my sarcasm for right now. I am sitting at Longhorn again. Yay! I'm going to be going out to eat with my family and um, some of my god siblings. Because fun fact, if you guys didn't know, I have five god siblings. Isn't that great? Um, two of them are in middle school, two of them are in elementary school, and one is three. So, it's so exciting. But the three-year-old and one of the elementary kids are different family. So now I'm going to see my two middle schoolers and the other one in elementary school, and I'm so excited to see them. So I can at least get some of this irritation out by being around them. So now I'm just waiting for everyone to get here, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys! There's Sassy Girl. And there be my fluff butt, Emeril. Emeril. I missed you. 
I missed both of them very much. I'm so glad to be home. Well, tonight was fun. I'm super tired. And I've got to get up in the morning because I'm going back to the zoo to volunteer in an event called Splendid Serpents. Which should be fun. I have no idea what I'll be doing. <laughs> but we'll find out. Um, oh, let's stretch. Oh, so tired. Emerald. Emerald. Hey, are you glad mommy's home? Say yes, because it means I'm out of the kennel and I get to play with my toys. Yes. <gasps> Who's that coming? Who is it? It's Riddler. Hi, buddy. Did you miss me? Yeah. So, thinking of Emerald, um, on my way to Longhorn, I was having a lot of thoughts. A lot of depressive thoughts, mainly. Um, hi. Do I smell good? You smell goats on me? Does my chest smell delicious? Hey. Hey. Riddler. Hey. <gasps> Riddler. Mwah. And it got me, like, I was having thoughts of, well, why am I even trying with Emerald? Why don't I just... Make him a pet and just stop this whole service dog thing. But then I kind of came to my senses because I'm like, you know, I'm not training a service dog for everyone else to think whether or not I have anxiety. I'm training this dog for me because I know I need him. And I mean, I'm not the only one that thinks so. I have friends that think so. You are doing some intense sniffage, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um... My school counselor thought so. Even my psychiatrist. I have a letter from him that says I need a dog. So. And Emeril will be able to help me one day when he's trained. Right now, I just get irritated with everything because he's a puppy. And we don't always have enough time to train because I'm busy. But, you know, we do what we can. Why are you sniffing everything, you weirdo? So it's just one of those lovely times where brain is like just give up already but there's that little part of me that says no we are keeping on going it's that stubborn little thing in me that stubborn little thing has kept me going for two years on my service dog hunt and that stubborn little part of me is the reason I have fluff butt Emerald, mommy wasn't so stubborn I wouldn't have you Emerald. Oh, say I found another toy. That's a lovely butt you got there. So now, what you think, Sass? Oh, I love you. I love my sassy girl. Sassy. You want to say hi to the internet, friends? You're such a pretty girl, and I love you. So now I'm about to go and get me a shower. And hopefully... Oh... Oh, and I need to take my medicine, so I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So, as you can tell, I'm out of the shower in PJs. Yay! I've got my little snuggle buddy here. Hi! You want to say hi to the internet friends? Say, so I'm going to stretch and steal your glasses. Can I have those? Thanks! I'm getting the vlog rendered and about to go up to YouTube. And then I've got my two older puppies. Settling in for the night. <sighs> I can tell the ambience kicking in because I'm feeling a lot weaker. Like it's taken a lot of strength to hold this camera. I'm so tired. Just want to lay down and go to bed, but I need to get the vlog uploaded. So I can do it. We can make it. Um But now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed after this vlog is uploaded. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, let's see. Question of the day is... Hmm, I'm gonna lay back for a second. What do you think, Emeril? What's the question of the day? Tell us what pets you have at your house. Like... If you've got dogs or cats or hamsters or whatever, what are their names? Like, I want to know. 
You guys know about my dogs, MRL, Sassy, and Riddler. I have a cat outside named Gypsy. Three ducks named Esme, Haga, and Rosanna. Chickens that don't have names. And then the two horses, Kelsey and Cheerios. So leave all your names down in the space below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Say bye-bye, MRL. Good night.